The ancient Egyptians built the pyramids as tombs for the pharaohs and their queens. The largest pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza, is the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that is still standing. Hello guys, welcome to our channel Info Explainer. In this video we are going to talk about 1. Who made these pyramids in the middle of the desert? 2. How the pyramid were built and what was the technique? 3. What was the purpose to build the pyramids? 4. What they found inside pyramids? 5. What was their religion? 6. What was their dressing and culture? Have you ever wondered who made these pyramids in the middle of the desert? Some say that it was aliens, others say that it was a lost civilization. The truth is, we may never know for sure. The pyramids are so massive and complex that it's hard to believe that they could have been built by humans. Even with today's technology, we couldn't build something like that. There are a few theories about who built the pyramids. One theory is that the Egyptians built them. This is the most popular theory, and it makes sense. The Egyptians were very good at building things, and they had a lot of slaves to help them. They also had the materials nearby to build the pyramids. Another theory is that the aliens built the pyramids. This theory is based on the fact that the pyramids are so perfect. They're perfectly symmetrical, and they're all the same size. It's hard to believe that humans could have built something so perfect. Also, there are ancient texts that talk about aliens coming to Earth and helping humans. The last theory is that a lost civilization built the pyramids. This theory is based on the fact that there are pyramids all over the world, not just in Egypt. If the Egyptians had built them, why are there pyramids in South America and Asia? It's possible that there was a civilization that was much more advanced than ours, and they built the pyramids. So, who made the pyramids in the middle of the desert? We may never know for sure, but it's fun to speculate. Do you know how the pyramid were built and what was the technique? Most of the techniques used to build the pyramids are still a mystery to us today. However, we do know that a lot of manpower was needed to construct these massive structures. It is thought that the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids by moving huge limestone blocks on wooden sledges. They then ramps made from mud, sand, and bricks up which the blocks were dragged. Some of the pyramids, like the one at Giza, are thought to have been built using an internal ramp. This would have been a very slow and tedious process, but it would have been possible to build a much taller pyramid using this method. It is also thought that the Egyptians used a technique called casting to build the pyramids. This involves pouring concrete or limestone into molds which were then placed on top of each other to create the pyramid shape. Whatever techniques were used, it is clear that the ancient Egyptians were very skilled architects and engineers. They managed to create some of the most impressive structures in the world, which have stood the test of time. Do you ever thought that what was the purpose to build the pyramids? There are many theories about why the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids. Some believe that the pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs and their queens. Others believe that the pyramids were built to symbolize the mountains that surrounded the Egyptians' homeland. The most popular theory is that the pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs and their queens. The pharaohs were believed to be gods, and their tombs were meant to protect their bodies and help them ascend to the afterlife. The queen's tombs were likely built for the same purpose. The pyramids were also built to symbolize the mountains that surrounded the Egyptians' homeland. The pyramid shape represented the rays of the sun, and the Egyptians believed that the sun was gods. The sun was a source of life and provided warmth and light to the people. The purpose of the pyramids was to honor the gods, protect the bodies of the pharaohs and their queens, and symbolize the mountains that the Egyptians held dear. Have ever think that what did they found inside pyramids? When archaeologists and researchers venture inside pyramids, they are often amazed by what they find. Although most pyramids were built to be tombs for pharaohs and their consorts, many of them also contained a wealth of other artifacts, including jewelry, furniture, clothing, and even food and drink. In some cases, these items were placed inside the pyramid to provide for the pharaoh in the afterlife. In other cases, they may have been looted by grave robbers. Either way, they provide an insight into the lives of the people who built and inhabited these ancient structures. One of the most famous examples is the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun. Inside his pyramid, researchers found a wealth of artifacts, including a gold coffin, jewelry, and even his mummy. This discovery has helped historians learn a great deal about ancient Egyptian burial customs. In addition to providing us with an insight into the lives of ancient peoples, the contents of pyramids can also tell us a great deal about the cultures of the time. For example, the presence of food and drink inside a pyramid indicates that the Egyptians believed that the pharaoh would need sustenance in the afterlife. The artifacts and items inside pyramids can therefore provide us with a unique insight into the lives of the ancient Egyptians. From their beliefs about the afterlife, to their everyday lives and customs, these structures continue to teach us about this fascinating culture. The secrets of the pyramids have been revealed. The ancient Egyptians built the pyramids to last, and they did so using a variety of methods and materials. The most impressive part of the pyramids is the way they were able to make them so stable. The Egyptians used a variety of techniques to make sure the pyramids stood the test of time, and they continue to stand today as a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians. Have ever this question came in your mind that what was the religion of ancient Egyptians? The ancient Egyptians were polytheistic, which means they worshipped many gods. The gods they worshipped were usually represented by animals or nature. For example, the god Ra was represented by the sun, and the god Isis was represented by the moon. The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods were responsible for natural phenomena. 
For example, they believe that the god Ra controlled the sun and the god Isis controlled the moon. The ancient Egyptians had a complex view of the afterlife. They believed that the soul was divided into several parts and that each part had to be preserved in order for the person to enjoy the afterlife. The most important part of the soul was the heart, which was thought to be the seat of the person's intelligence and emotions. The heart was believed to be weighed against a feather to determine if the person had led a good life. If the heart was heavier than the feather, the person was sent to the underworld. The ancient Egyptians believed in reincarnation and that the soul could be reborn into another body. This belief was based on the idea that the world was created through the interactions of the gods and that humans were created in their image. Therefore, the soul was thought to be immortal and capable of residing in different bodies. The ancient Egyptians had elaborate ceremonies and rituals surrounding death. They believed that the body had to be preserved in order for the soul to enjoy the afterlife. The most common method of preserving the body was mummification. Mummification was a process of removing the internal organs and wrapping the body in linen. The body was then placed in a sarcophagus or coffin. Have you ever had what was their dressing in culture? Dressing in ancient Egypt was a way to show one's status. The richer you were, the more ornate and expensive your clothing was. Commoners would wear simple linen tunics, while nobles would wear finer linen or even silk. Clothing was often brightly colored and decorated with patterns, beads, and jewels. The ancient Egyptians were a clean people and took great care to bathe and clean their bodies and clothes. They used a special soap made from animal fat and ashes. Jewelry was an important part of ancient Egyptian dress. Both men and women wore a variety of earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and rings. Wealthy people could afford to have their jewelry made from gold and silver, while poorer people had to settle for cheaper materials like bone, wood, and copper. Makeup was another important part of ancient Egyptian culture. Both men and women wore makeup, and it was considered stylish to have a dark complexion. Women would often paint their eyes with coal, black paste made from soot, and line their eyelids with green or blue shadow. Lips were painted red, and cheeks were rouged. The ancient Egyptians believed that the gods resided in the pyramids and that they were the gateway to the afterlife. The pyramids were built to last for eternity and they did just that. Today, the pyramids are still standing and are some of the most fascinating and mysterious structures in the world. Thanks for watching, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you learned something so please do comment below, subscribe and hit that like button. Artlist.io